Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Men TV. It is the opposition preview ahead of Tottenham Hotspur versus Liverpool and BT Sport is broadcasting every Premier League team twice in 10 days, including Spurs versus Liverpool at 8pm on Thursday the 28th of January. With BT Sport's monthly pass, Liverpool fans will be able to watch four Liverpool games and everything else on BT Sport for the next 30 days for just £25 with no contract to sign up visit www.bt.com forward slash sport forward slash football forward slash Liverpool so you can get Spurs v Liverpool, Liverpool v Brighton, Leicester versus Liverpool and RB Leipzig versus Liverpool as well as everything else on BT Sport in the next 30 days. I'm joined by Sim from We Are Tottenham today to discuss the game. Sim, how are we, mate? Yeah, I'm still struggling to get over the last time we played you guys, that last minute winner. I've still got a bit of PTSD, but I'm looking forward to this one, I think. I think so. Yeah, well, well let's get let's get stuck into it then, mate. It's obviously a big game. I think it was a top, top of the table clash last time we met, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Oh, how little, oh, how little <laughs> we knew. I mean, mm -hmm. what, what, what's happened to Tottenham since then? Yeah, it's been a bit of a frustrating one. I mean... Actually, that Liverpool game was pretty much the start of our bit of downturn in form. Uh, we've just keep dropping really sloppy points left, right and centre. We, the most frustrating thing from our point of view is most of the games we've dropped points in this season. We've pretty much had it in our control. We've had the points in our hands and we've chucked them away each and every time. And um, it's a big, big frustration for uh, the Spurs fan base at the moment. I think in terms of how we're playing and, and the performances, I don't think we're playing too badly. Just little things usually near the end of games are going against us badly and they're ex exposing um, the defense, the individual players in the defense, maybe uh, for not being as good um, as Mourinho needs them to be, because I think as a collective we're pretty strong. But I think ever since we've played you, I think it, that took a real hit to our confidence. I think because I think we went into that game uh, near the obviously top of the table, uh, thinking of challenging for big things, and then that last minute winner, I think, really knocked us for six and knocked the stuffing out of our momentum for sure. I think that was a big moment because I thought we played, uh, we were in that game. It was really close. We missed a few chances, would have taken a draw, but to get that 90th minute sucker punch um, took a bit of momentum out of ourselves, and it's taken a, taken us a bit of time to get back into our the swing of things. The last few matches, I think it's coming back. Uh, the performances are coming back a bit. What are you? What are your feelings on Liverpool now at the moment? I mean, obviously, you know, we beat Spurs, we go and we go and snot uh, Crystal Palace, and then since then, it's uh, well, our confidence has taken a knock. We've been terrible. Haven't we? Are you looking forward to playing this Liverpool side? I think even um, if Liverpool are playing uh, at their best, I would still think that Mourinho would have a plan to combat you guys and to obviously um, slow you guys down as Mourinho likes to do, sit low and a low block and kind of counter as we did um, a few a few weeks ago to decent effect. I think Liverpool, obviously, they're not in a great shape at the moment. We've seen how the, their results have not been doing good. But, you know, Liverpool, they're always looking for reaction every single game. And I thought against United, despite losing, I thought you um, looked a bit better, especially going forward. You looked a bit sharper. You're still creating chances and you got a couple of goals through Mo Salah. So I look, Liverpool are not to be taken lightly in any game, for sure. And I see a lot of Spurs fans on social media getting a bit too overconfident of, uh, of the result on Thursday. I'm not confident that uh, Liverpool are, are not going to turn up. I think Liverpool, for sure, are going to look for reaction to their recent form. But they just look a bit off it at the moment. I think obviously the two centre-back pairings, I always thought in the short term you would be able to cope, but in the long term, over a long season, um, they might be found out a bit in terms of not, not necessarily even defensively, which I think they have been found out a bit, but I think even building up your play, I think it hurts you a bit in terms of attacking-wise. I feel like uh, with Van Dyke and with Gomez there, you could push up a bit, a lot higher, and uh, you weren't as exposed at the back, and it would help you build through the midfield. But with the midfielders there, I don't think you have that much as, as, much, as much protection as you would have had um, with uh, those starting centre backs. I think that's definitely hurt um, Liverpool. But look, Liverpool, even in these games that they've struggled obviously they've dominated possession they've missed chances and the luck just hasn't gone their way so I've no doubt about it I'm sure the results are going to turn around for Liverpool again What about Spurs then? How, how would you rate their season on the whole Sim? 
it's a weird one. It's a weird one because I feel like we're playing well. I feel Mourinho's done a really good job getting the squad together. I think we, um, the signings we made in the summer were really, really positive. Um, we targeted the signings really precisely um, into the weaknesses of the squad. I think they did a really good job in the summer uh, identifying where the weaknesses were. Just this season, it's just been a season of missed opportunities for us. There's a season, uh, games against um, Newcastle, West Ham, Crystal Palace, Wolves. Cal- there's so and even more. There's probably even more games at Fulham. Games where we're, le- we're leading with the game in the palm of our hand. We're controlling the game. We're having the chances to kill off the game. We haven't killed them off. And then we're allowing teams right at the end to, to nick a result every single time. And we definitely, I think, our performance... For what, how we're performing, we should be on a lot more points than we are on. That must be a very, very big source of frustration for Jose Mourinho. Um, but I think, you know, we're still in all competitions. We're in a League Cup final. We're, four po- we're seven points off uh, top of the league with a game in hand. We're obviously, we're playing in the, in the FA Cup tonight and we're still in the Europa League. So there's still a little to play for. So I think there's a lot to be decided to, in terms of how successful season we're going to have. But I think at the moment we're content. It's just very, very frustrating um, seeing all the all these missed opportunities we've had pass us by, which is a uh, which is really frustrating, really frustrating. I, th- I think one of the things that I'm quite interested in, Sim, is obviously we know how Jose Mourinho has set up his sides when he goes up against big six rivals and 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 that and and certainly we've seen a lot of that with Spurs this season. I think he's playing to the squad's strengths. Uh, I think that squad suits maybe how Spurs are uh, uh, how Spurs are playing at the moment. Do you see that he's going to do anything different than that? Do you think it is just going to be low block and you know probably hit the space behind Trent Alexander-Arnold quickly to try and take advantage yeah. of Liverpool's deficiencies, as it were. I think we even saw against United. That's uh, like the goals they scored were, you know, exploiting that space. And I think exactly what that's what Jose is going to pinpoint for sure. I don't see any, any chance he's going to do anything different. He knows if he goes for a more adventurous style, if he leaves more space in behind, then is it as expected, you know, Salah and Mane are always likely um, to exploit that space. So he's going to go the low block. He's going to try and frustrate Liverpool. And he knows Liverpool um, are always going to come on, um, come forward and be um, offensive. And they're going to come forward and try to win the game. They always do that in every single game. So I don't see Mourinho doing anything different. And if it wasn't for a, a few bits of luck, it would have worked back at Anfield a few weeks ago. It's worked well for us against City, um, a few other games as well. It's worked well in the bigger games. So I, I don't see a difference in approach for Jose. And it's just about if our attackers can be clinical because we saw uh, back at Anfield, Liverpool had a lot of the ball, uh, had a few chances, but no clear-cut chances. I think we restricted Liverpool to a very few chances and Lloris barely ha- had many saves to make, but we didn't put our chances away. Uh, we didn't make the most of our, what we had. And at the end, we paid for it with a set piece. And that's, that's what's killed us a lot this season, set pieces. But... If we can get that right, yeah, I'm expecting a very pragmatic performance from Jose. No doubt about it. Obviously, you know, if there is a weakness for Spurs defensively, what would you say it is? and How would Liverpool be best setting up to get a result against Spurs? There's a very, very clear and obvious weakness for Spurs this season. That's headers, aerial duels, um, aerial situations. I think nine goals we've conceded uh, this season out of, I think, uh, six, 17 goals we've conceded, nine of them have been from headed situations. And that is, um, and I think eight of them have been set pieces. So that is the big glaring wit- uh, weakness in our in our defence. From open play, we've conceded four goals this whole season from open play. Wow. But I think we're the best in the league from open play. We, we barely concede from open play. We're very good at, um, at defending open uh, open open situations and when teams are putting pressure on us and with wave and wave of, attack, uh, of attacks, we're very good at uh, combating that. But as soon as we give away a corner or, or lateral free kick, all of a sudden we're vulnerable and we're exposed. I think we've given away 12 points this season from headers, 12 points. So I think that's the best way to combat us. And that's exactly how you won the game at Anfield. And uh, that's exactly how most teams have taken points of us, headers. And that's the most frustrating thing. Well, you'd be interested to know that over the last few weeks, Sim Liverpool have started to play a lot of short corners um, and a lot of short free kicks because we don't quite have the height in our side that we have now. Clearly, we can still score a goal from a from a header or a free kick, but Liverpool have now tended to err on the side of caution and not just throw those percentage balls into the box. So I'm sure you'll you'll like that. And yeah. look, look, we'll we'll. I know we know how Jose Mourinho is going to set up, but do you think Liverpool's form comes into this any? Where Jose just thinks, do you know what? They're not playing well. We'll just go for the win here. Or do you think he'll do what he always does and start out being resolute, playing for that draw until 70, 80 minutes where he looks to try and nick something? 
Look, he's, I'm not saying we're not going to attack at all. I'm sure he'll pick his moments to go forward. Uh, he always does that. I remember even in the game at Anfield, we sat back very deep. But at the beginning of the second half, I don't know if you remember the first 15, 10, 15 minutes, that first half, um, second half, we were pushing really high up. We were trying to get that goal and we we're trying to trying to take the lead. And obviously it didn't happen, so we sat back. But I'm sure he'll pick his moments to go forward, but um, but it's definitely going to be few and far between. I can't, even, even though Liverpool are in bad form, he might smell blood. Uh, I guess it's all about in-game management management and see how the game's going but I think for sure at the start he's uh he's not gonna be all, all guns blazing or go for the win I think I don't think he'll take a draw before the game I still think um we if we get if we take the lead um he's gonna be delighted with that and he'll try and get the win but I can't see us I can't see us um going hell for that hell for leather for at any point of this game really I can't see it unless we're um behind I think he's gonna mm. go with the same approach he's done in all the big games and what about players then specifically? How how will you probably line up in this one? Um, it's an interesting one because we have been going four two three one for the majority of the season, but just in our last Premier League game, we went three at the back, and it did, did seem to help us um, gain more control of the game against Sheffield United, despite again another um, conceding another header. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if again he goes three at the back um, in this game with um, maybe Joe Roden coming in, uh, Eric Dyer, and um, probably. Davidson Sanchez at the back or potentially Toby Alderweireld but he's tended to favour Sanchez as of late with Aurier and Regulon in uh, the wing back positions um, Undombele and Hoybier uh, partnering in the midfield with a front three of Bergwijn, Son and Kane and obviously Bergwijn and Son are very much going to be looking to exploit that space in behind the fullbacks and Kane looking to drop deep in the role he's played this season kind of like a false nine kind of role which he's been absolutely fantastic at um, the only thing that may, may that might that I might think we might revert back to the 4-2-3-1 is because we all know Liverpool like to play that three in midfield and we in that in with five of the back you only have two in there and I don't know if he maybe he wouldn't want to sacrifice that control in midfield as much as uh, we did against Sheffield United so maybe he might bring in Sissoko for one of the centre backs but it's one it's going to be one of those two things and finally then Sim what are we looking like for a score prediction from you mate We've been pretty decent at home against uh, the bigger sides, albeit against Leicester, we got outclassed um, uh, quite badly. Apart from that, we've been pretty solid. So uh, Liverpool in bad form, they are going to want a, want a reaction to that. But I'm going to go Spurs are going to shade it 1-0. I'm going to go 1-0. It's going to be a tight game. Liverpool have been frustrated of late. Uh, we saw how Burnley frustrated them and they haven't even scored in a, lot, a few of their games despite uh, missing chances. So Mourinho is going to look to do the same. He's definitely not going to make it easy for Liverpool, that's for sure. So I'm going to go with a sneaky 1-0 win to Spurs. Okay, brilliant, Sim. Thank you so much for your time, mate. Massively appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching, of course. And don't forget, you can get BT Sports Monthly Pass. Uh, that will be four Liverpool games, plus all of the other BT Sport content over the next 30 days for just £25 with no contract. So it's Spurs v Liverpool, Liverpool v Brighton, Leicester versus Liverpool and RB Leipzig versus Liverpool for that £25. Sim, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. We'll see you next time on the Redmen TV. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you so much for watching the Redmen TV YouTube channel. Everything we do here is funded by our wonderful subscribers to the RedmenTV.com. Get over there, sign up, and get amazing additional content, interviews, documentaries, mini series, and of course, additional pre and post match day content.